Yo, 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 what's up? Welcome. It's another episode of Horrible Decisions. This your girl, Mandy B. And I'm and Wheezy. There we go. I was waiting for you. Happy fucking Monday, sluts. This is going to be a really gross episode, so I'm going to be honest with you. A lot of the things that I've found are some fear factor shit that we're going to bring up. So, so if, yeah. if you have a weak stomach. I guess that, that's cool to warn them. So this episode may be triggering. I don't know if it's triggering, but once I found out what rosebud porn is, then Bro, I was... just disgusting. I was like, okay, it's pretty bad. Um, Look it up. Well, we'll go ahead. Um, We do want to give a huge shout out and birthday um, wish, I guess, to Angela Yee. We went to her. Emma Dudley and DJ Envy and Charlotte Charlotte (laughs) LaMaine, the god. That shit was so Uh, fun. Webby just couldn't get that shit right for for shit. Yo, say the three names really fast. Start with DJ. DJ Envy, Angela Yee, and Charlamagne. Yeah, bitch, I got that. I was saying it this morning, and I was like, Angela Yee, GJ MV, Charlotte Um Yeah, we had a lot of fun. Thank you for the invite. So I wanted to tell you And for the drink, shout out Duce. Bitch, I was drunk. So someone I had sex with was at the party, right? And I hadn't spoke to him in like a month. And we saw each other. And the second he saw me, he came up, hugged me. And I was like, okay, great. This is nice. We're done. We passed each other, I would say, maybe another five times. And then the last time that he came up to me, I was talking to a very attractive man that I've never seen out before. I don't know who he was, but niggas kept coming up to him. So I'm like, damn, like, I'm trying to figure out what his name is. I'm like, so what do you do? And he's like, you know, a lot of things. I was like, okay, see somebody. He sell drugs? Bitch, I don't know. So hold on. No, I can't actually tell you what he does. It's, he works for a brand that all the niggas wear and does some big shit for it. Oh, so, okay. But right when I'm getting his number... Wouldn't you know the nigga I fuck comes up to me and he was like, did I tell you how, how great it was to see you? And then called me by my real name in front of the nigga, which was a very like, oh, I know her for real. And I'm like, yo, <laughs> calm the fuck. To- like, I was so annoyed, Mandy. That's right funny. when I was like taking his phone and like putting the number and he was like, did I tell you how good it was to see you? And I'm like, yep, great to see you too, buddy. That's exactly what that I said. That is so funny. And then when he walked away, I called him Pally. I've never said that in my life. Bye, Pally. I was like, get Pally? What is the... I like, just pal? Wanted, I wanted him like to know buddy we're friends. Pal? Yes. Bitch, that ain't your buddy old pal and you be getting dick down, bitch. I, listen, don't be cock blocking me from new dick. I would have never done that to him if he was talking no, to... No, I feel... Uh, but guys are very territorial like that. I actually felt good. Like, I love New York for that reason that I be going out. And I don't be fucking nobody. Like, I don't be fucking nobody in the room. Like, and I love it. I mean, as long as it's not All-Star Weekend, then yeah, I have not fucked anybody in the room. And it feels great. Like, I can't say that that was the I same when I, I lived think, in Orlando. I think when New I lived York in Atlanta. circles can be really small, but... The, like if- the circles are really small here. So it's like, you... And I've been here six years now. So it just feels good that when I go out, I don't really have the whole running into people I fucked um, thing happened too much. I will say um, I fucked 24 um, 7 for the first time in 2019 and it was great. Um, I think he was too high though because he's, he, he does all these analogies after we get done fucking. He always says how much we have porn sex. He's like, man, it's like a porno every time. Da-da-da. So we're talking and I'm like, yeah, because I think we went almost a month and a half without fucking because our schedules just wouldn't allow. I was traveling a lot at the end of the year and so was he. And so I was like, yeah, well, I know them bitches ain't fuck you like that do you all know that this nigga kind of said i had pokemon pussy and i felt like pokemon pussy so this is what happened right this is how i know he was high as fuck so we got done fucking and we're talking about what what's been going on right he said i was like balthazar but not really balthazar i don't know what pokemon restaurant no 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 no, no. but we were talking about that is not a bulbazar we were talking about bulbazar there you go balthazar the french restaurant we was talking about like so i was like nigga we talking about pokemon now he's like so this is what it's like you know like when you got the person all the way at the top that everyone tries to fight to make better like to beat out and I, I was like I'm not gonna lie I it was so funny because he was getting in character he's like you like way up here like the master and then like them other bitches I be fucking they trying to fight to get their way up to you to beat the master well and I bro, guess you can I just was, add the I aka like, Pikachu Pokemon AKA, you know? so then I was like looking up I was like wait so I know Charmander turns into Charizard but isn't there someone else after Charizard wasn't like the top Pokemon start with a Z so when I was in third grade I used to uh, like 
trade Pokemon cards with it? the niggas. So like I'm what trying to remember with the niggas in third it grade. With the niggas in third grade bitch. with them niggas. So I'm, I'm trading trying, my shit. So I'm trying to think which one was the hardest card <laughs> to get <laughs> with Pokemon. Wasn't it a, a Pokemon that started with like a Z? Or some shit like that. I can look it up. Anyway, yeah, look it up. So I tried, but then it, all these names of Pokemon that I don't know, so I feel like maybe there was other generations of Pokemon that came out after I was watching Pokemon. Because then I didn't know none of them Pokemon. The hardest names. Pokemon to catch is, oh my God, I remember this one. It was like the shiny card. That's the shiny card. But wait, is that Dra Charizard? No, Dragonite. Char Charizard is like just a... Charizard was still a complicated one to get. Here are the most... Ten no, oh, I, I guess it's Charizard's just a popular one. Oh. Who is Rayquaza? He black. Rayquaza. Dark Eye. That sounds like Dark Eye. And he's dark. <laughs> That's fucking racist. That's <laughs> the most rare Pokemon is... No, there's too many. I'm sorry. There, no, there's a lot. So we were talking about that. And then so I got on Instagram Live and we were talking about Pokemon. And so I really think my pussy is Jigglypuff because Jigglypuff used to put people to sleep. So I feel like I got Jigglypuff pussy. That's and I just cute, like the name. That's a cute pussy Because my booty be jiggling now, too. That's a cute pussy name. And it's like name. a puff. I've never really <laughs> named my pussy. I, my pussy name is now Jigglypuff. I like that. What What would you name your pussy? I, Not after a Pokemon, but maybe like a superhero. If you had to name your pussy, what would you name your I'm pussy? I'm thinking about this Sex in the City episode where she was talking about, because the therapist, <laughs> uh, it was Charlotte and her husband. And do you remember he couldn't get it out? They couldn't have right, sex. Right, 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 right. So he was like, what would you like to name the you know your genitals so that it's not awkward? And she said... I'm gonna go with Rebecca. <laughs> She's Wait, like, you would choose. She was like, it's just a nice name. It really is. <laughs> and honestly, when you asked me that, I was like, I don't know, like a Lola is a good pussy name. Lola, is, like, and that's like a flower, and just like a name nice hoe name too. Uh, speaking of names, I just got accepted to Raya. Okay. And um, I gave up on dating apps. So, so I luck. was on Raya, but got kicked off for a screenshot of someone famous. And did not know that's how the app works. I've been trying to get my friends on Raya to get me back on. Shout out to Erica from Good Moms Bad Podcast. Andrew tried. All my friends tried. Now, by the way, it's not just a dating app. Like, there's a social part of it, too. Like, I, I don't I guess I can't tell you who I've saw on there. But, like, I've seen some people in the media industry on there. I'm like, okay, dope. But I'm more on there for dick. Damn pussy. So, I'm back on the app, right? And the only thing that sucks about Raya, obviously, it's people in the creative industry, is that Weezy what the fuck is in there. Like, your Instagram is tied to Raya. So, like, any guy that writes me first immediately... Gets to see your Instagram. ...talks about my Instagram. I'm just going to read you the last message I have um, from Zach. Hey, G. About to download an episode of your podcast for the plane. Any wrecks? Oh, God. I said, LOL. I'm going to assume that you've dug through enough. What title interested you the most? He put, ha ha, honestly, started with top moments. Wow, shoe fuckers, huh? <laughs> I, you know what's crazy? That that was the first episode that my coworkers listened to. Because I had to let them know I'm going on tour. And they're like, wait, you had... So then it delved into like, what do you do? And I was just like, and that was our first episode. And I was just like, so that's... Shoe fucking is literally what the I heard the next day The only thing I office. hate about that episode now is like I really love doing the compiling of the episodes because it's the one that me and Mandy like really like kind of brainstorm the most and talk with y'all. And even though some people think it's a lazy episode, I love it. But therapy is the first thing. So people that never have heard it no, that start the there. No, the shoe fucking is the first thing. And then it gets into therapy. Therapy second. Oh, it does? Mm-hmm. Okay, because the then he one. just started asking me why we was fighting. I'm like, damn, it's only been five minutes you heard that? Yeah, no, therapy is the second one because it pretty much brings where, so I feel like the shoe fucking was kind of one of the very first episodes we did in the studio when everyone walked in and we're on loudspeaker, so that's kind of how it started and then, bitch, the therapy was like, yeah, so we had trials and tribulations over the <laughs> past year <laughs> shoe um, that we've that. overcome. Um, but yeah, so, all right. I was, I was talking about our therapy when I went on another podcast recently and I was like, yo. You told me. No, 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 but as much as I hated doing that episode, I realized, like, how different it was just because on some real shit other podcasters that tell me about their co-hosts and like talk shit about them i'm like 
Wow. So a like, lot. I'm, I'm, y'all's faves don't like each other the same way we do. We just share. Well, me and Weezy, if you haven't noticed, have been doing much better. We even going out. Bitch, I done seen you, what, three times this I week? Know. Four times this week? Like, and we're, we're, we're knocking out a lot of content. Me and her, we're both at Angela's party together. We're just, um, when you're deep in the bag, it's really hard to not like each other. That's another good thing, too. Okay. Yeah. I, I believe that. Like, I can't hate you with checks. I just can't. What am I going to do? Technically, like, we get, it's a check with both of our names on it. To a bank account, it is. what am Both I gonna of do? Our names are on this hate account. you? Can't. I know, and I can't even hate her because then I look at that account and I'm like, "Ooh, there's a comma. There's a lot. <laughs> there's, a, there's a lot in that account right now." I bitch. know. Hey, girl, have a wonderful day at work. <laughs> I be texting Weezy like, you know, good like, afternoon. Even, even, today, w- w- even today with this episode, I text her. I said, "Side note." This was a really good topic that you came up with. Good job. <laughs> Kudos to you. Let's go in the studio and have a great day. I mean, what else are we going to do? You're telling me I'm going to be mad about you when horrible decisions just paid my rent? No, I'm not. Yeah, no, you're right. But, so. I mean, no, I, I think it's really cool that, like, and like I said, I really hated doing it because I kind of assumed that having the therapy out in the open would be a spectacle, spectacle right? Like, making it us a joke. But it totally was the other way around. The opposite, yeah. Like, it, e- even if niggas laughed at it and we didn't know or see that, like, it changed it for me. You know, putting all my fucking flaws on the table, letting people, just opening up my feelings for you, people being able to tell me, hey, you were wrong. Or Bitch, this. I cried. The fuck? It was a, crying? You're an ugly ass crier. First time. My mom was that way, bro. Okay. So, Bitch, do you know how ugly you are when you cry? It's a cute one. No, it's not. It is. I you're not like, even that ass. cute hoe to be. No, let me stop. <laughs> Bitch, I'm an emo hoe, so I you perfected are. my you do, you Honestly, do, right. my cry, like, my tears just come out so often. Like, I know how to like change them now. I also learned like little things to make yourself stop crying. Like tongue on the roof of your mouth can help. Like bitch, really. Like tears just be coming out. I talked to this homeless woman. Teaching up. you on Talkspace. <laughs> when you be calling your therapist, you be crying. She's like, now just put your tongue to the top of your mouth. He, she and breathe. I can't remember the tongue thing, but like it was something with your tongue that can like stop the tears, like holding them back or something, like that can maybe help with the tears. But yeah, I was talking to this homeless woman on the train the other day, and I was like, oh shit, it's coming, it's coming. It's coming. I started bawling, bro. Oh, it was bad. Well, yeah, I liked I like crying just for like shows and movies, but it's really weird. Like I cry, like, and I know that that's where I literally hold all my cries for in real life, because I'll be watching like Locked Up Raw, and I be bawling the whole time. What's the last thing you cried over? Okay, Undercover Boss. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Every episode, I cry at the end when they, it's like, so we're going to, you remember how you have difficulty paying your medical bills? I'm going to pay your medical bills for you. And then the fucking crocodile tears just start fucking yeah. going. So, yeah, I would say um, Undercover Boss. I was just watching that not long ago. I'm trying to think. What, uh, it was a show I watched, a reality show where I think it might have been I Am Jazz. You know what that is? No. Um, so, because I've burned through 90 Day Fiance, uh, I now have just like TLC on demand. So, I'm looking. There's a show about a 13 year old trans girl. Mm-hmm. And, like, she kind of just talks about what she's going through. Now she's about to get surgery that, that's going to change her life. And it's like, it really fucked me that up, man. Deep. It, it, it was it's a dope show and like you know there's she has love interests on there and it's it's, it's really sweet um 90 day fiance i've cried over let me tell you how obsessed i am over the show i've watched this show so much i'm watching like clips of like their families talking about it on youtube like i can't get out of it I and can't. now my favorite character larissa and colt she's from brazil everything more biggy blacky <laughs> they got in this fight bitch it's even if you don't watch the show, this clip is so fucking interesting because it's so crazy. Me and Ali, um, incredible. We we don't even we, I don't even know her number. I I can't even remember the last time I talked to her on the phone. But we will text about that shit on if I can Instagram. Would you Would you do Ninety Day Fiance after Mexico? I really wanted to, but listen to her voice. They got in a domestic violence fight. Listen someone to someone to help me. Please, I need a attorney. Please, I need someone to take me off of the jail. I'm going to the jail. Go to call the police. That's not funny, bro. You're so bad. No, because why? She going to come in here next episode with that same goddamn accent. Y'all know call she to like call the police. I need a thorn. <laughs> I need to take him to the jail to call the police. Wait, so she got into a domestic violence issue bitch. with the person She's from 98 so Fiance? She's so fucking extra. This bitch puts everything on the Instagram, right? So she starts recording him. And she's like, I'm on the sleepy on the floor because you tried to hit me. And I, 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 don't, I don't believe her. And he's like, Larissa, why? I don't know what you want me to do. You say I have a small dick. You're just, you do everything to just make me upset. 
<laughs> then she has apparently TMZ covered it, bitch. She has all these random cuts, and do you still have the blood was on yeah. her face? The blood was from no cuts on her face. They couldn't find a cut on her face, so all of the blood on her body was like inconsistent. So they're like, obviously you made this shit up. So that's why, <laughs> so what? that's so that's why she went on Instagram. They take me to the jail, and um, <laughs> oh, it's my show. And then he got a mom. He lives with his mom, right? And so the mom. The, why do they set people up like this? I don't on that know. Show? So she's talking shit about the mom. Mom, whose name is Debbie, right? She's like, don't like a Debbie food because she don't cook with the sauce. Don't cook with the seasoning. No good the food. Was, <laughs> so good. Then, bitch, let me tell you, I got some dick, right? Jeeves came over a few months ago and uh, I was like, dude, I got to show you what I've been watching because if you weren't here, this is what I'd be doing and I need to knock this season out. He was invested, bitch. He's like, wow, so the dude from Jamaica now moves to Pennsylvania to be with Melanie and her children? And he's like, you know, I'm the only black dude in the neighborhood, but I love Melanie. And, uh, you know, from a green car. <laughs> so the only one that I saw, and I don't know if it was 90 Day Fiance, was an African dating a white woman. and that The fat white back, woman? That nigga went back to Africa and cleared out her account. Bro. Yes, and she was she like, Michael, no left Michael, did you go to my account? <laughs> Never going back to Nigeria. <laughs> did you see her dress him in the Trump shit? <laughs> That's the shit I'm talking about. So Bro, funny. she dressed Michael in the goddamn. She came to visit him in Nigeria, right? She was like, "Look what I brought you, babe." She pulled out this fucking "Make America Great Again" hat and the shirt, and he's like, "I love it, Donald. I can't wait to get there and meet you." Oh, no, I'm stick with the hands up. And then that nigga her she's 52. <laughs> she's 52. He's 30. He told her, "If I have a picture of you on my phone, the cops gonna check my phone and see a white woman, and they gonna think I'm scamming, and they gonna arrest me." So she telling her her daughter, her friends. Shit. She's like, I believe him. You don't know the laws in Nigeria. <laughs> damn, damn it. <laughs> and she's no, like, do I think crazy? Do I think Michael's using me? Well, I don't know for a few reasons. <laughs> I, there's some love there. We've never met, and I could be his mother's age, but I feel no, something there. No, bro, that shit was the only one. I, he was like, I respect crazy. Angela like my elder. Uh, she, <laughs> you are like a mother to me. She's like, now nah, you're embarrassing me. <laughs> I'm done with bitch. all these accents. This shit is so <laughs> fucking good. Then they got a Filipino bitch who fucking with this nigga who rap. I saw that one. I that, saw that shit one is too. good too. I gotta get into it. Like really, watch. <sighs> if there's nothing else on TV, and I'm not gonna lie, this is that. That means there has to be no chopped beating uh, my, Bobby Flay. <laughs> <laughs> Bobby Flay is good. I like Bobby Flay. Um, I'm into. Um, Top Chef. Like, I watch, like, the cooking shows. They're great. Yeah. I'm so, going like, to just tell you one more. if none of that is on, I'm done catching up on Married to Medicine. I'm done catching up to Real Have you heard about Atlanta. the couple that, that can't speak each other's language, so they WhatsApp each other? Get the... Bitch, they be getting in fights on Google Translator. <laughs> he be like, can you make sure you get an STD test because I think you're pregnant by another dude? And so you hear him say it, right? And she has no reaction because it has to filter it. <laughs> and then the phone is sitting there and she's like, no, no, no. And then talks back to the phone. Wait, what? Bitch, they fight through another woman's voice on Google Translator. He asked to marry her and she was like, um, and she would start texting in the phone. <laughs> That's a fucking joke. It's so good, dude. That is a fucking joke. It is just such primetime TV. Like, the person who came up with that in the room, I just really need to know. <laughs> how much are they paying you, my nigga? Because, like, what a gem. Really? Oh. So when I went to Mexico, yeah, I was trying to be on my 90 Day Fiance, bitch. I'm dead. I'm dead. Well, let's go ahead. We're going to hop into our... Let's just go ahead and get on to the kink of the week. You want to go ahead and get into this? Because this is some shit you looked up. Chuck Pollard, no, no, yeah, well, you go ahead. It's pretty bad. Um, it's called <laughs> felching. It's and called felching? It, here's the definition from Fight Club. When a man fucks you up the butt without a rubber, he shoots his load, then plants his mouth on your anus and sucks his own warm sperm out. Plus, whatever lubrication and feces are present, that's felching. <laughs> it may or may not include kissing you to pass it into your mouth. Basically, an anal cream pie is called felching, but it's specifically when a man does it. And he sucks his own cum out of the uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> the faces in this room right now. Now, how did My I God. find that, one may ask, is because the topic for today, um, you know, has to do with porn categories. So I'm looking up the grossest ones and I found it. But before we get to our horrible decision, I want to go through vanilla shit. Shout out to Salty. We've been talking back and forth to uh, Miss Fitz, who runs Salty. If you guys don't know what Salty is, it is a newsletter. Um, that it's basically talks about sexual health. Writers go in, they they... Pretty much it's almost like I would explain it almost as 
blogging sometimes because some of the stories are so personal and vivid, but there's a slew of different writers on this site. It's free and it's just an amazing fucking newsletter all about sex. Amelia Ortiz was on our show. She covered it. I know Erica something, the woman that had the um, mastectomy for breast cancer. She's on there as well. Um, But yeah. The article I picked today is called Trans Dating, the Pegging Perplexion. Mm. So the author of this article um, pretty much goes into detail about how she gets annoyed feeling like every man expects penetration because she's trans. So she, I'm just diving into the middle of it. It's quite a long article. But for the T-girls that choose to date, they soon find out there are slim pickings. This scarcity is caused by so many stereotypes that surround sex with a trans woman. One of them is the stigma that only men who enjoy receiving anal sex pursue trans women. It includes a false assumption that while entering a relationship with a T-girl, the expectation of receiving, receiving anal sex is a thing when it really isn't. (laughs) They sustain the fear that being known as a man that dates trans women automatically means you take it up the butt when it doesn't. Men who are brave enough to explore their sexual acumen will discover that there are various ways to have sex with a trans woman, as with any other cis girl. It is this exploration in cis couples' bedrooms that is lending some leeway to the acceptance of men who love the trans woman. So movement. So basically saying that pegging and talking about it has opened up the idea of men possibly being okay with dating trans girls. Um, Some T girls are totally comfortable with invading their man and lean in towards evolving as a non-op transsexual. It's exactly what it sounds like. Taking all of the feminization that measures up to the point of genital reassignment surgery. They feel like no one ever knows them. Uh, No one ever knows if the man they will fall for will prefer a good pegging and are okay with (laughs) keeping a tool to use to do so. So trans women that are, you know, post-op and have had surgery will actually maybe still strap up and shit like that. But I guess kind of trans women are tired of thinking they're just a pegging bitch. It's so funny, though, that you bring that up because I I do have men in my phone who have been with trans women. um, And... I would say probably three out of five of them don't even take the dick. Like they, they're not receiving, uh, they're not on the receiving end. They have been with trans women to where they're still penetrating um, the women. Right. And what's crazy is um, I mentioned this on a, on another episode that I've been getting into kind of watching more trans porn. And a lot of the trans porn is trans women still being fucked by yes. men. So it's it's weird because a lot of that's, I actually try I actually to look don't up like watching where, trans women fucking men. Oh, that's what I try to look for and I can't find as much of it. I really enjoy watching trans women get fucked and just seeing the genitalia but like it being like even missionary. I think it's really hot to see them like touch so themselves. If, if, so I'm into seeing a man receive it clearly again because I like seeing men in submissive states and forms and positions. Um, but if you guys are interested in looking up a specific porn porno star that I really enjoy watching, he um his name is Robert Axel. He is a beautiful black man. Oh my god, he looks he's like he's just my type. He's I think beautiful. You can follow him on Twitter. He's beautiful, and he deals with a lot of trans women. Um, he also does like threesomes. He's like been gang banged by by trans women. It's just it's just That's dope. Hot. it's really hot. Um so Robert Axel if you're looking to get into that. So I guess while we're sitting here talking well, about porn, I you talked go about this scene though. It? Like so when I went on Van's show, I talked about a porn I was into and it's trans women that like get fucked and dr- come on themselves like oh my God. Like post pre op, sorry. Um but yeah So Mandy and I did a Patreon episode. You may have heard it yet or not. I don't know. But um, we talked about like the type of porn we like. And Mm -hmm. I was like, yo, we should really get into what people are into. (laughs) So the horrible decision for this week is called delete my search history. Because I've been into some nasty shit. Pretty much. So I went on Twitter and Instagram and in my DMs and collected over like, I would say at least total, maybe 500 500 comments of what people are into. But I want to ask you this first, Mandy. Would you rather take... $20,000 Twenty thousand dollars in Wait, cash. Wait, here right? we go with one of these goddamn money or do something filthy ass question. You don't what? have to do nothing. What? What you asking me? Would you take a twenty thousand dollar in cash in your hands right now, or, I mean, well, the the, the fact is, you would have to for the twenty thousand dollars have your search history for porn pop Absol- up whenever your legal name is googled. Would you um, take the twenty thousand? The fact that I have a white ass name and mad white girls pop up. 
if you search my name anyways give me that twenty thousand dollar check if y'all want to know black gay raw that's what the fuck i type in just about all the goddamn time mine's bukkake and come on face yeah mine is i i like gay porn um i like i said i've been watching more trans um trans porn lately um and then if it's if i'm like okay i'm done seeing like that type of sex and I want to go back into heterosexual sex I really 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 enjoy gangbang oh. um, gangbang DP me too and I do like to see I, I don't have a lot of raw sex so I don't like to watch condom sex in porn I'd like to watch raw sex <clears throat> right like, I just like I mean to watch well that's why a lot of people have gone to Miami to do porn because now in Cali they have that rule um, so we collected all of these porns that people <laughs> watch, so right? Nasty, but hold right? on, before you get in your phone, I want to show you the three craziest ones that I looked up or most interesting. So first, we're going to stop start with uh, the lollipop effect. And I'm going to mm. tell you what that is. Wow, really porn music there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it got to be white people shit. So that, the that lo- black no, black girl. Porn. These are that all, black- I swear on you, on, on some real shit, the p- black people that wrote in are the ones I took the answers from. The a lollipop effect is... Basically, two girls lie in the bed, they passionately kiss and fuck, and the other girl watches them. Under her skirt, you see a big dick. So that is called the lollipop effect, and it's only an anime. So I want to show you three (laughs) clips of different porno, and I want you to then tell me if you had to come to one of them. Which one would I come to? (laughs) I'm actually surprised. Like, So the girl that wrote me, it was a black chick. She was talking about how she really was into the anime. Sorry, my phone is fucking up. See, I, I got a virus from all this goddamn anime. I, I, so well, I'll a tell black you now, I'm not coming to cartoons. Well, you'd be surprised. Look, they look real, right? Let me get they to They look the... like Sims characters, yes. <laughs> <laughs> do you see the, like, dick in the skirt? I Fuck! do see them. Loudspeaker, yeah. y'all are so deep in this damn studio, I can't pull this up. <laughs> Hold on. So, this is the lollipop, okay? As you see, there's a girl with a growing dick in her skirt. They're cartoons. How big? Huge. That's not a regular size dick. Well, it's anime, so everything's kind of like. So that's the lollipop effect. If anime. you're watching this at work, I'm so sorry because now your panties are about to be moist, or you're about to have a hard on. Moaning you just... makes me so fucking wet. So just even hearing cartoons moan right now, I'm so mad that I just got turned on. Here's the next one <laughs> that a black dude told me is his favorite shit to look up. Cum farts. Nah, bro. <laughs> This is just a compilation. And basically, the cum squeezes out of the ass, they fart it out, and they eat it. This music is so That that music is awful. Now, the next one, I actually had, I would say, about 10 people write me this, which kind of surprised me because it seems kind of random. And it was clown gangbangs. Clown gangbangs. Yep. So, <laughs> all normal people, no cartoons, no other shit, but yeah, they're basically um, dressed as clowns. But this is what I'm talking about. This is why, like, you're not. You're saying this is why people shit, but I'm a bunch saying, of niggas wrote me. That's fine if niggas watch it, but I'm saying you're not finding. So, I don't like watching white dicks in porn. So, like. Okay, so which one do are you they coming have to? Black clowns? The, now the fact that you really just which like, one are you coming to Mandy it's the game you have to play yeah but it was all white people so I'm just gonna go with the cartoons then wow and you said I'm not coming to because cartoons because I, I, I also knew. don't come to white people so the cartoons looked pretty the cartoons they moaned sexier the cartoons <laughs> turned me on more than the other I really videos. think I could, out of all of those I could come to the anime too the anime looked... And Lollipop I, effect. I like bad. the idea of a growing penis. Me That just too. keeps getting bigger. It was literally the so size like, of my leg. I honestly was ass. kind of judgy before this because the only anime porn I've seen was tentacle porn. So tentacle porn is basically when it looks like octopuses and shit and they wrap themselves around like other people and like jerk them off. Or I've seen breast milk tentacle porn where they wrap their tentacles around so titties. So the tentacle porn was really interesting. A lot of people sent that in and like it's disgusting when you look it up. Like, I don't know what they like, because it's not the all... tentacles can go through the vagina out the mouth. Yeah, it's fucking disgusting. Yeah, I really and don't I'm like, get 
the caucasity of that. Um, but niggas <laughs> like it. Um, so here's a few favorites of mine that I posted on the gram. Um, I, my question was, what's the craziest thing you've ever searched in porn? Not me, but a fellow sailor on deployment had 100 gigs of amputee, am, amputee porn. So I then looked that up, and there's a lot of quad amputee where there's no arms or legs. And there's another one that says, most recently watched was Nugget Anal. Basically girls with no arms or legs getting ass So there was a video going around on Twitter of a guy with no legs fucking the shit out of a girl and everyone was like reposting it it was all hips and arms he had to have the strongest arms to hold himself up because he was fucking her missionary style and i'm like fuck like you're it's, it's kind of like he was swinging but that's the thing like you all learn what you have to do right like what it's core it's all core then it's co- right he was like swinging in her pussy and i'm just like i don't know if i could even watch this like i i felt I felt it's, odd it's looking at it. It's almost like when you, it's like we have legs, so that's where we put most of our weight and lean onto during sex. But for example, Not me. I don't Ash, ride dick. <laughs> well, no, no, no. Like <laughs> niggas. Other than that, I be on my I guess, knees. But when really... I'm thrusting, I use my legs. Oh, okay. okay. Right? Okay. So like Ashley, the girl that we had here that had the wheelchair, I'd bet that her arms were a lot stronger than me or yours because she's probably using her arms more than we are yeah. to remember herself in and out of cars, shit like that. Um, the nastiest porn that I saw, I will say, and this to me was nastier than vomit, was rosebud porn. Um, and that is basically when your asshole is extracted. Oh, I saw, I've seen those in gay porn and it's so gross. I really, um, I can't. Your asshole is extracted. It's because you've been fucked so much. No, and like, they, you like, basically try to like pull it out uh, and like then it's like pushed back in uh, while fucking. And uh, like that to me is the fucking grossest shit. But it's a lot of like anal gaping. I've seen the rosebud thing too. Um, here's some other funny shit. Granny's sucking big cock, which I don't ever know if you've looked up. <laughs> what? <laughs> Granny's you, sucking big cock? Have you ever looked up granny porn? I know. So bitch. I have for fun, not for masturbating. <laughs> and like granny. Any gangbangs are hilarious. Yo, get the bitch. fuck. I feel like that's kind of like look at the granny getting fucked the by these two people. niggas. Like this is. A, I mean, she's like what fifties. I'm talking about. I've seen. <laughs> she don't look that old. So how old do you think she is? I want to see gray hair, bitch. All right, hold on. That, see? Look, that look like a milf. Once you're oh okay, they look old, bitch. They look like the Golden Girls, bitch. <laughs> oh, this is the this pussy. I don't want to see this. Oh my god, they look so. Y'all gotta look at these old ass Yo, women eating these pussy. These some big y'all. pussy bitches. <laughs> Yo, y'all niggas ain't shit. Y'all niggas Yo, nasty. for anybody, the cameraman and audio, Chris, they came to look at. Why do they all have hair? Because back back in the day they liked hair. They probably still live like back in the oh, day. Her tits are like, wow. Grandmas be getting it in with the black dick. Hello. They're taking a lot more dick than uh, than young girls do. Well, I guess you've had room to uh, yeah. So, so I wanted to read this. This was probably one of the nastiest comments that I that I saw. Someone said that they saw a video oh. where hella guys came in a cup. Okay. They dumped the cup onto a pan on the stove. Here we go. Then they cooked all of the cum like scrambled eggs. Oh, boy. And they made the girl eat it. Um, And I saw him responding back to other um, followers, and he said it actually looks like scrambled eggs. I believe it. Technically, there... Oh, no, let's not. I was about to say technically there are eggs in it, but we done already went through that. There's no that, eggs that was in funny. sperm. Um, giant clit is also a thing that someone put. Um, Man, that's damn near. Anal they- urine, which to me, that's just diarrhea. This was the... Oh, I'm sorry. No, this anal was... Anal urine? I didn't Google this, but this was the craziest. I, I keep saying this is the craziest. This is the craziest. I can't stop. <laughs> Penile separation. Dude sliced his penis in half, and the blood was crazy. Ew! No, I don't but like I blood. But I came, so win-win, I guess. And he, he came to that? He was black. I'm going to show you what he looked like, too. <laughs> he because you came know what? to this penis be, This is what's crazy, bro. It's sl- slitation or slight Oh, some dude I fucked put looking up porn bloopers with your ass. Yo, this was so funny. So me and this guy, we got really high on <laughs> some stuff. It was Molly. And it was like five years ago. And we go to this fucking rave and he can't fuck me anymore. I can't fuck him because like we both can't come because we're so high. And I'm like, yo, let's look up porn bloopers. So we're in a hotel. We're in Tampa. And we pull it up on the screen. And I when I tell you real tears. So it's like casting calls where they pretty much <laughs> roast these bitches. So they get done fucking this one girl. And he's like, yo, you know, this is a yeast infection, right? Like 
when it's crumbly like this she's like dude really <laughs> and she's like looking at her fucking pussy with all this stuff he's like yeah I'm a little worried now about getting candida honestly she's like I'm so sorry and then she's in the bathroom and the camera crew follows her while what? she's like trying to figure out how to fucking postmates monistat um, it was pretty bad so, but- so something else that was really funny that someone brought up which I actually enjoy watching and I just recently watched um, parodies so they have Porn parodies of Fresh Prince, Good Times, and Barbershop. Yeah, yeah, parodies are funny. Um, I do want to say, if you're um, into gay porn like myself, they just had an awesome one of Black Panther. <laughs> really? Oh, my God. Let me see if I can look it up. Dog, it was You know what's so funny hot. about you bringing this up? Do you remember when you said that um, Lawyer Bay wanted you to wear, like... He did. So, Lawyer Bay wanted me to dress like a... Um, we were going to do, like, superhero fucking. <laughs> and we were looking up different... Um, costumes because basically he wanted to record like he wanted to like get into this thing where he wanted to be like a porn director on the side of being a fucking lawyer and so I was like yeah but I have all these tattoos I don't know if I want to be in front of the camera and so that was one of his solutions is for us to wear costumes because then it would cover majority of my tattoos and so that's kind of <laughs> I just read something that said trans orgy because something about them being in a fuck chain is really hot to me <laughs> some girl said these are all niggas by the way because I can see from the little shit this girl put I love watching one arm niggas jerk off <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? What is up with the what? amputee shit? One arm niggas jacking off. Frottage? What is that? I forgot. Can you Google that really quick? F R O T T A G. We had it as a kink of the week, I feel we like. We did. We definitely did. My favorite search is lesbian Brazilian face sitting, and that's what leads to some weird shit for me. Also, face suffocation. So that's the start. Of the Black Panther game. Oh, wow. It's like really in like... No, they did a, an amazing job. So you have the Black wow. Panther music. Look, hold on. What does that say? Black Panther? It's black with... Oh, no, no C. With no C. And then when you get into it... <laughs> oh, it's it's gay porn. It's gay black porn. And you literally have T'Challa and whoever the other one is about to fuck. And then, hold on. They get into it. And it's... <laughs> <laughs> Do they say Wakanda forever? Um, actually, I think they do say some sort of Wakanda while they fucking. And my bad, my bad. But yeah, they, it's crazy. My bad, but that. It's so in your prodage, the uh, thank you, Chris. The technique or process of rubbing from an uneven surface to form the basis of a work of art, huh? Touching or rubbing against the clothes body. Oh, we did it with Mac. We did do that. We did do that. No, we didn't do that with Mac. We called that like dry home. Who did we do that with? So one of the other ones that I found really odd that a lot of people wrote us in about is alien slash monster porn. <laughs> yeah. And so that, um, most of those are animated when I was looking them up, but they do also just have people in costumes as well, looking like aliens and monsters. That was dope. Um, um, oh, so... Before I want, I want you to find some good ones too. I found uh, an article on mandatory.com that says 13 porn categories that'll make you quit the internet. Um, the first one is toothless granny, <laughs> and then a, they uh, they also include porn out comments, and one of them is but why. <laughs> <laughs> Toothless granny invo- porn involves senior citizens who remove their dentures and place them on the bedside table to suck a good dick. My Little Pony. I feel like maybe that's how Cambella was getting ahead from Joel's. You know, Joel's was... What? <laughs> his dentures? Have, no, but he, like, started losing his teeth. So I wonder if, like, getting your pussy ate out by a nigga with Yeah, no but teeth. I think it's mainly so it's, like, it's better probably for blowjobs because, like... Cause it's just like... Right, so you get I put my, my lips over my teeth anyway if it's big. Yeah. But... I used to watch Hookers on the Point um, on HBO, and one of them was like needed ten dollars for cigarettes, and she was like, "I'll take my teeth out. You think you want me to take my teeth out? I'll take my teeth out." <laughs> well, so there's a a category of crackhead porn too that someone said they stumbled upon, and if prostitute, you look, yeah, real crack whores is one. Real crackhead porn, like that shit, kind of made me feel sad. I've watched it mainly because I like the like the Thai prostitutes. <laughs> So like when then crackhead comes up and I'm like I didn't ask for American shit. I did. <laughs> um, there's another one called Red Rhapsody. Actual porn comment: boring. Twelve minutes is too long. Explanation: Red Rhapsody is a blanket term for menstrual porn. What's even more shocking is the fact that approval ratings for these videos hover above ninety five percent every time. They are seen by millions of people. The more I live, the more humanity confuses me. Garden gnome. 
Garden oh gnomes God. have red pointy hats. Wait, they fuck with red pointy hats on? These red pointy hats fit perfectly torn considering the prevalence of pointy things like butt plugs. <gasps> what? There is a girl who uh, uses, yeah, pretty much lawn ornaments to pleasure herself. Um, another one, Japanese newscasters, actual porn comment. In Japan, it's perfectly normal to read the news with your face covered in cum. <laughs> I, I think that if a lot of you guys dig into like searching some of these porn um, categories, you'll see that our bodies can do a lot of things that I didn't think. So someone said they actually came across a video where an entire head was put into I saw a that. vagina. And then someone wrote underneath like, LOL, the white bald guy? The white. <laughs> I'm like. So yeah, and, sh- and apparently the guy is bald and so he stuffed his he stuffed his bald head into a, a vagina. Something else that people said, um, Asian armpit fetish. Um, Blogzilla that likes up. that. Yes, and also Muslim porn. Um, so me said Mia, that Mia the women wear their, their hijabs. She, do you know she only did like, uh, what, like less than 10 or something? Who? Mia Khalifa, because she's happened? actually Muslim. A lot of Muslim porn, by the way, is done oh, by Latinos, wow. yeah. and they just pretty much make that eyebrow real bushy. But Mia Khalifa is like legit uh, Middle Eastern, did Muslim porn, and got received the most death threats of any porn star. She's the most uh, searched porn star for the amount of videos she's done, maybe like five scenes or something really small, but searched the most. Like she's super popular. I'm actually surprised you never heard of her. No, um, I think I think I have on on Twitter. I um someone else um said something that's a porn category and it's actually funny because I saw this in person. Someone said that they saw a girl shove ten mini basketballs inside of her ass and then shoot them out one by one. I saw that. So when I was in Thailand and Bangkok, yeah, um, me too. There's a place called the, a, the Pussy ping Show. Pong. And basically what happened is, and this is the crazy part. So we we go into this pussy show. That's what it's called. It's literally pussy is on the outside of it. And so me and my homegirls went in. I think it was like $10 to get in. Um, U.S. dollars, but it was whatever type. Which, by the way, is really expensive. Yeah, no, it was very expensive. But we were like, bitch, we want to see it. And then when we got in there, the drinks are very Tell me cheap this. Were they old? Like you? Th- no. So they weren't old. The so, ones I saw were older. So we went in there, and the first trick that she did was she takes a marker and she asks the guy sitting on the corner of the bar and is like, what's your name? She takes the marker, puts it in her pussy, and writes his name with her pussy on the stage okay. and hands him the paper. In Amsterdam, I saw her do that on a dude's chest. Yeah, so did it on a sheet of paper. So then finally, the ping pong show comes in. The whole time they're hyping up the ping pong show. So the, the bartender hands us ping pong paddles and the lady sits on stage, the stripper, the dancer, whatever they call her. She's on stage and she's putting the ping bongs in her pussy, hits her pussy and it shoots out and we're pretty much playing ping pong with ping pong balls that are coming out of her pussy. Now, it wasn't until mm. she decided to shove a bottle of water and squirt, squirt it out, us yeah. with her pussy juice that we were like, we're fucking done with this. So, but we definitely were playing the ping pong The water was with, the most, the um, what I thought, interesting. Like, so she... I saw that in Thailand. I, I wanted to talk about some European ones I saw too. In Thailand, I saw them like lift their bodies up, let the water drain all the way down, and then shoot it out, which I, wasn't I thought was it. pretty gross. Now, when, in Amsterdam, I think it was a pink elephant or something. I've been twice. What's interesting there, they have a smoking one where a girl very like nicely puts her legs up and like coughs it almost looks like and the smoke comes out they did that in Thailand too yeah they did that yeah the only thing I would tell you with sex shows like it's really really interesting to watch I've been to a Parisian one too they were pretty cool but the they look exhausted because the show is on a rotation, right? So let's say from mm-hmm. 7 to 9, you watch the show. They do it again from, right, 9.30 to 11.30. And, like, it almost looks like acrobatic shit at this point. They're, like, like they know exactly what positions to get in. Like, yeah. It kind of sucks. <laughs> and strangely, the sex in sex shows, I've noticed, is not my favorite part. I kind of like the individual acts. I yeah. think those are more fun. Well, this um, was this was advertised as kind of like a strip club so they did have like very clad outfits on bikinis um they there was poles on stage so they could dance go go dancer each because they dance very a little go, bit before yeah. they do whatever trick they, is. Do. they um, do another cool one i've seen in amsterdam is it pink elephant something elephant and this girl comes out in a chiquita banana outfit with like gorillas and they like do this <laughs> dance and then she unpeels a banana lays on her back um, calls five men over, puts the banana inside of herself, and then asks them to eat it out while she pushes it out. That was pretty good. 
That was actually that my favorite part. That sounds kind of interesting. I enjoyed watching that. And like not in a like turn on way, but I'm like, you guys are sick. So we've we've <laughs> we've, we've we've sat here and talked about a lot a lot of the porn that our listeners came across. Are there any pornos that you've come across and it was so disgusting but you sat there and watched it? Race Race play? No, I was I, I didn't finish. Like I, I didn't hear you finish, but I couldn't finish. I was thought you were gonna say, "Did you stop watching porn?" Oh no, that you kept watching. Race play makes me stop, and I'm gonna tell you when race play has made me stop. I like bukkake, Avi. I talk about it all the time. So gang bangs, and I really do like watching black women in porn because they're hot. But a lot of the bukkake sometimes has white dudes. So the bukkake that I last watched was some southern bukkake. I can't remember the name of it, but I probably should have known better because they had shirts on with Confederate flags, but she was so fine. I think it was Capri Styles, maybe. And oh, I love her from back in the day. She's coming to our Atlanta show. Oh, dope. So I love Capri Styles. Shout out Capri. And um, in one of the fucking portos, yeah, they were like, saying you black bitch like I couldn't I couldn't handle it and it fucked it up I don't even like listening to white women say big black cock which is why I can't watch blacked oh I don't like hearing you talk about it like it really it fucks it up so I mean for me um I mean I would say stumbling across trans porn I didn't think I would like and now like I said I kind of search it um on my own I don't think I've come across too many odd ones I would say you're talking about race play ones that I feel like I shouldn't enjoy watching would be incest porn that I kind of I actually like the storyline that you're fucking your stepson or you're fucking your stepdaughter like and it's awful don't you look really judgy right now bitch It's just porn, but I will say it's one that it's like, I know it's wrong. I think incest is awful. I'm not here for it, but I kind of get into the storyline in porn sometimes and I shouldn't. Maybe, I know. maybe like the mom and the, like, and then it's when like the mom and the daughter fuck the hot boyfriend. It's like, I know it's fucking wrong. It's awful, but it I get into it. I, I get into it. I don't know. What is it? Is it the, someone, is it, is it the coercion basically? Like, do you I just... don't know. I think it's the fact that I know that they're not supposed to be doing it. Like, especially like the the dad and maybe stepson or dad. You and know daughter, why I like... get worried about incest porn and people liking? Because I worry that it'll one day lead into them like teenagers getting taken advantage of, and that makes me feel bad. No, but of course, I, I you know when incest porn fucked me up. I watched Hot Girls Wanted, this doc- documentary on Netflix. Have y'all seen it? No. It's really good. It's uh, it's about, actually, Nina Kay, she said the dude from the documentary is her manager now. Okay. So it's this documentary where they basically talk about how they put these ads out, Hot Girls Wanted on Craigslist. They offer you a flight to Miami. You live in this house and you do amateur porn. And the life cycle they talk about for porn stars, like average I have seen that. three months, I've just okay that. six months, <clears throat> porn stars over a year. One of the girls, uh, the girl with glasses, does this uncle, sorry, had a hiccup, um, uncle kind of porn, and her, outside of the scene, she looks so uncomfortable. She's like, I was so dry. Like, he wanted to touch me, he wanted to kiss me, and I, I couldn't do it. And, like, I'm watching her touch her titties, and she's sitting there with her arms crossed, like, uncomfortable. And now, all I could think of with, like, that older man takeover porn is the actual porn star really being that uncomfortable. But it's also crazy because even watching that documentary, they do like women who look barely legal for those certain type of roles. So, and, yeah. And the barely legal category is very oh, fucking big. I pulled up the list for us of the most views categories by gender. Shout out to, I think... Uh, Norkio, the philosopher who said you guys need to cover this, he sent me the 2018 Porn Hub, Pornhub's official review. I want everybody in this room to guess the top three things you think women looked up. Gay porn is number one. I, well, we did an article on gay porn being popular. Not um, not gay ma- male porn is not on there, but go ahead. What's the next one? What, le- well, then lesbian. Lesbian's number one. What do you think number two is? I thought that too. It's threesome. Threesome. Three is number <clears throat> is number three is Japanese. Now, next one for men. What do you think their top three are? Lesbian. That's number Blow four. Blowjob, lesbian, and, and and what? Cream cream pies. Pog. What's pog? Oh oh, fat ass white girl. So I thought it was gonna be teen and ebony. The top three on two th- in two thousand eighteen for Pornhub was Japanese number one, milf. 
And oh, mil, of and course. then mature. Then it was lesbian and ebony. <clears throat> Hentai was before teen and anal. Here is a very interesting statistic. By two hundred and eighty percent, pussy licking is more view is more often viewed by women than men. Uh, solo male is viewed a lot I by women. I love solo male when they be with the little flashlights making themselves come. That's probably why I like a lot of like so a lot of the guys on my phone. I don't have to send them anything. They just enjoy me watching them jack off. Yeah, and that's like one of like the things that I really really like. So sometimes if maybe I ain't got no nigga that's jacked off on FaceTime for me in a while, I'll literally go and look up solos. And I love watching men, like, come on themselves or shoot, like, Dude, really, really Gene far. Dude, sent me some fucking flashlight porn. I love it. Um, that, I mean, I'm sorry, like, a video of himself? And I was like, what? Like, I, I love it. When I watch that shit, I'm, like, super turned on, and I'm shocked how turned on I am because I don't really know many men that use flashlights. Like, it's not necessarily a thing, but... Uh, porn categories also range from cities people live in, which is very interesting too. Like, it was very high for teen in uh, Damn, sorry girl. Bible Belt states. Oh, I believe that. Which kind of made me want to throw up. I believe that. Well, let's go ahead. Um, I hope you guys, if you guys come across any weird porn, um, keep it to yourself because y'all be sending us some weird ass shit. I know y'all thought I was about to say something else, but y'all be sending us some shit like real quick. I we just, just asked them. Now you're saying quick, keep it to yeah, yourself. Yeah, no, but real quick, I just want to show. I, we're literally sitting here. Mind you, anything filthy that comes across Twitter, we're now being added. Like, what are your thoughts on this? So this is literally something that was just sent to me. It is a man being jacked off under latex. Oh, I've seen this on real sex. And there's something that's helping yeah, it's him a, bleed it's... through the latex. But he's literally having a conniption because he's about to come. So this is clearly a latex. Um, Do you remember when we interviewed the we guy, about Daniel, too. from Not Safe for Work, and he talked about latex? And he talks them? about that. So, again, someone decided to tag me. At Full Curl Pumps, fam, explain. Like, y'all can't think that me and Weezy just know all of this shit, bro. We don't do this do shit. Do you remember when Zan, Dan, you... uh, Dan, Van post, like, posted some shit of men in lingerie, and he was like, what y'all... What y'all just... think about this? Like, um, y'all gotta stop making us the voice for everything like this, because it's just like, goddamn, y'all. Now, I'll down. be honest with you, the latex thing, like, I totally get it. But, I get the second skin thing. Like, I've worn really tight clothing and it's turned me on. Yeah, not me. I, I just, I'm sorry. It doesn't, doesn't. No, I wear, probably, maybe I wear more outfits, like, more often, but I wear this latex one sometimes. Like, um, I don't want to get, whatever. I'm not going to talk yeah, about it. But just, nasty. but just well, know I wear this latex one. And when wearing it, like, getting, like, my nipples, like, pinched or touched outside of it, it's, like, another level. I love that you brought that up because that's going to seg us into, segue us into our home mail, um, which oh, the title. I, I picked one out. Oh, did you? I really like this one, but go ahead. Um, so it's we could do two. skin or no skin. Um, so I'm a new listener. Shout out to Sydney for posting about the podcast. So I've had sex with men with foreskin and without and don't really care whether a dick has skin or not especially because all i'm concerned about is getting an orgasm on a random night my boyfriend and i decided to watch american circumcision on netflix so there goes something else for y'all to tune into and i've always felt some type of way since i opted to not have my son circumcised after watching the entire documentary my boyfriend is now restoring his foreskin and apparently a bunch of men are doing it i don't care as long as he can make me come with his mouth dick and fingers but it's a four-year process with lots of tape and retaining cones even crazier that in some countries doctors cut the hood covering the clit shit if someone cut my hood them motherfuckers would ruin my sex life just thought maybe it would be interesting to share with the rest of the world since most women are hell-bent over cut dick skin or no skin and it's crazy because we've had this conversation on here a lot i actually there's a guy that I found really, really attractive. I met him at a party. Um, and we've been talking on and off maybe for like two years, but nothing's come of it. And, you know, I was in my little slump where I didn't really have 24-7 for a while, so I was entertaining him. And as soon as he sent me a video of his dick and it had so much skin on it, I'm now not interested in fucking him. So I feel bad. Reading this made me think of that. Like, listen, people can't choose the way that they they're... can't. But I can choose what goes in my mouth and what goes in my vagina. Sure, but I do feel bad. Like I mean, like I said, 80% of the world is uncircumcised. That's the last stat I read. That was in the summertime. And apparently it was something just as similar with 80% of America being circumcised. Yeah. So, like, I don't know. I 
I don't really think there's a difference. What I really enjoy with uncircumcised men is they feel so much more. Like when I go down on them, like they're so much more sensitive. Oh my God. Like they seem to come harder. I actually fucked this guy with Colette and it was number two, uh, episode number two, our threesome story. This dude was like almost screaming. He was coming so hard and he was uncircumcised. He was like enjoying it so much. And I noticed they convulse a little bit more. Um, ladies, if you've ever have any uh, stories that you could share with us, if you know, you agree, I just find that they do come harder or if, like, I, I can't even explain it. And it's mainly like when I'm, like doing like something with my hands like um you could say like the basket weaving technique you know shout out to superhead whatever i've noticed just doing that right at the tip it's like oh my fucking god like some dudes can't even take it they're like i'm gonna come just stop i mean i feel like my circumcised guys come just as hard um i, I don't mean think, i'm not saying I don't that, think there's a way to really well like, no, gauge it's a who fact their dudes more. are way more I mean, the, sensitive the sensitivity sure but i'm not gonna sit here and say like i how many experiences have you had with uncircumcised men though to maybe compare? maybe a few i when i'm well i'm not gonna lie so when it comes to uncircumcised dicks and i can be biased i don't give a fuck i don't i don't have the preference to suck it it's not a, it doesn't turn me on so because it doesn't turn me on like the same way so men, basically it turns you off when you see it does it. so maybe like the same way maybe some men don't want a hairy pussy men have preferences with even what our vaginas look like it's right. nothing that we can change or nothing that we have any control over but there are men that Ooh, your pussy fat. I like fat pussies. Some guys like different types of pussies. To me, it's not that I'm shaming or bashing any man who's not, you know, cut or uncut or whatever. Just my preference, even when it comes to sucking dick, I don't even know how to suck dick with skin on it. I don't. I, I mean, don't like that. It's the normally skin goes not back and once forth. Once you're hard, it's like I don't know. From from my experience, it's not really a pullback type of situation when they're hard. But also, like, I honestly, I, like when I tell you, I don't care. I just want it to be big. Yeah, I like big dicks. Um, one I, I do want to bring up because I noticed they're not out here yet. I liked this one. It wasn't really a question, but comment was or the subject was Wheezy. I can't squirt either. Listening to episode ninety, Wheezy girl, I can't squirt and it bothers the shit out of me. I've been with my husband nine years and we have an amazing sex life. He has made me come so hard, my legs shake and go numb. I come at least three times every time we have sex, but never made me squirt. I was starting to think it was just me or him, but now that you've said you've never squirted, I'm like, what are we gonna do? Girl, listen. I've heard doctors say, like, every woman has the possibility to squirt, but, like, I don't care about squirting anymore. Just because some novelty with a nigga wanting me to squirt. If I can't squirt, I can't squirt. If it hasn't happened yet, it hasn't happened yet. If you're having amazing orgasms, why do you care? Yeah, no. I Like, who I, cares? I enjoy the multiple orgasms, but I will say um, I have squirted, but it's it's something that I don't have control over. It's something that I don't know how to do to myself. Probably because I also have T Rex arms, so like I can't really get. Yeah, in but there also like I need to. Nina K said, and a lot of other people then wrote in that week because I was like, oh well, I don't put my fingers inside of myself. She was like, I don't. She's come from. She yeah. squirted from clitoral. Also, to a guest we've had on the show, I won't say his name. He was like, I've never made a girl squirt um, from using my fingers. He's like, I've done it from eating pussy and like clitoral stimulate, or not like sticking his fingers in, I meant. He said from clitoral stimulation. So I don't know that, I mean, I guess, again, I haven't experienced it that way. Every person who has made me um, squirt has come from them pushing. There's some button up in my pussy. I don't know, they they know how to get it though. The I've, I've come uh, squirted with maybe three, three different has guys. Has a woman ever made you squirt? I, when I'm with women, I like giving head to them. I don't really like them touching me at all. Okay. So yeah, when I'm with women, it's just all me pleasing. I don't really, but I don't really like head, so it makes sense. Like, bitch, what are you gonna do? I be wanting dick when I'm with bitches, so it's like, eh. Like, I just like pleasing them. But for the most part, every time I've squirted, it's come from fingers going in there while they're also eating my pussy. So it's clitoral and um, penetrated, like penetration going on, and it has been. I'm sorry that you haven't experienced it. Bitch, tears came out. Bitch, and this nigga recorded me, so it was a nigga I, I hated. I mean, don't be sorry. And I said I, I come love hard you too. on camera, and I don't love that nigga, but it made me tell that nigga I love I, him, I'll and be I don't. Honest, I don't really so, feel listen, like... Look, and you looking like that real quick? This nigga brings it up. Mind you, every time we have a conversation, we argue. It's a nigga I don't like. It's the nigga that, that I, I pissed on. We fucked for like 10 years, and now I'm not interested in him at all. But 
every time we get into an argument, he bring up that I told him I love him and it's on video, so now I can't deny it. So if you're so excited about squirting and it's so great, why don't you like head? Like you said, that it normally comes when dudes eat your pussy. But it mostly comes to me, like even with him, he'll like eat like he'll eat my pussy for a little bit but once i'm turned on it's all fingering right like, right he does all fingering and i realized that too like um shout out to raquel savage she tweeted today like uh and i saw that you posted how to properly eat pussy and she actually put don't put your fingers in this hole and what's crazy is if you are gonna give me head because i'm i'll get it but i don't care about it but when i'm getting head from a guy, I'll literally pull his hand and make him finger my pussy while he yeah, does Yeah, I don't know. I feel like everybody has a different idea of how they to do. eat pussy, right? I was talking to a friend of mine, another podcaster, and she's like, yo, like, my dude cannot eat my pussy, right? Because all he does is stay on the clip. And so when I saw that video, just focusing on the clip. There was a lot clip, of clip. Focus. I'm like... I don't like that shit either. Like, I like the clip, but like, eat my whole pussy. Don't suck my clip. The same way when we suck your dick, we'll do the head, we'll do the shaft, and there's the balls, then of course the gooch, then we come back up. There's hand motions. Like, we do so much intensive shit when we fucking suck dick that it's crazy that they literally just think they just gotta... I really get annoyed with that shit. Like, just don't eat my pussy if you're just gonna lick the clit. Like, like come on, bro. What Wex call it? Lick, click. Lick, lick, lick the, the click. click. He called it a click. Yeah, I don't uh, I don't like that. It doesn't really do anything for me. I want you to like, this is my vagina. <laughs> I want you to look at it. There's a labia. Like, there's a lot of other shit that you can do, like, to turn me on. Like, fucking do that. And I just feel really guilty when I've got to sit there and, like, walk you through it. Because I don't let people eat my pussy anymore that just do it wrong. I tell them what to do now. Oh, yeah. I, I told you the only way I'll even get into maybe where okay my pussy's being eaten is if i know i'm dealing with a sub man and it's on some smothering and i'm sitting on his face and riding his face and i'm just very aggressive i still don't even really the, I, i'm turned on more by riding his face Yo, than i am Jeeves him is eating like my pussy. obsessed with like getting his face suffocated not obsessed but like he doesn't know that maybe i realized how much he asked for it but in the threesome we had the girl was riding him and I was sitting on his face and I remember him pressing me closer and like that nigga came hard as shit. And recently when I was sitting on his face, like I could, I didn't know if he could breathe or not, but I think he was into it because he, I wasn't sucking his dick or nothing. It sounded like he was like, Ugh! he loved it, bitch. He was eating like he never had a meal. I don't know. It came hard as fuck. I was like, oh whoa, my God. what? <laughs> Bro, it legit landed on my chin. It was very unexpected. I was like, wow. But now I kind of like it too. I was begging scissors to do that shit, but she wouldn't because she wasn't waxed. <laughs> I was like, please. She's like, no. It's so crazy how self-conscious we are, like depending on the pubes on our pussy at the time. Like I told you, even when I did the threesome, like I had to tell her, bro, your right. pubes aren't And bad. what's like, crazy to fuck. me is Let's like, I read something recently where this girl was saying, uh, how do I, it was something in the home mail about women and her questions about how do I date women and talk to women. I found felt so much more secure about my body when fucking women than I have men. Like, I feel like girls are not weird about my body. Like men can be, and maybe because men are so judgy. Like when we see people being judgy on the internet about, oh, you know, you don't have this or not enough ass or not enough titties or you're this or fat or whatever. It's mostly men. So when I do fuck girls, I've felt so much more comfortable with my body. And for a first time lesbian experience, I've noticed that, yeah, I, I feel more comfortable with women. But anyway, right. yep. um, thank you guys so much for listening to this episode. If you enjoyed this episode, thank you. If you think it could have been better and you want to help us out, call us at the $15 tier on Patreon. After four months, we send out merch. Um, earlier on into that tier, we call listeners for outline feedback and help. So produce an episode of Horrible Decisions and we will shout you out on it. For just five bucks a month, you can get bonus episodes every Monday right after the Horrible Decision episode. The clip you're about to hear is about a time I went to jail. So I hope you guys enjoy that. Um, it's pretty funny. Not awesome. Really. And again, we're excited funny, to see but... all of you guys on tour. Um, and following this episode, you guys will hear a clip of one of our bonus episodes on Patreon. So thank you guys so much for all of your support. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for being horrible. Um, and again, this has been yet another episode of Horrible Decisions. Bye. Bye.